Hey Pisces, welcome to Vivid Vibration. My name is Christina. I hope that y'all are doing well. <sighs> Pisces, I definitely feel like you guys are still going through a breakup or like something like that. You've got Eros, the Tear, um, the River, the Seed, the Ocean, and the Womb. Um, I mean... I don't know why exactly I feel like you guys are going through a breakup, but it's just like, like almost like my heart sank. And I was like, oh God, you know, like, uh, like usually you see arrows and you're like, hey, you know what I mean? Like that was not a hey moment. That was a, it came out with the tear and the river. And I feel like there's an idea here of you, feeling like you're missing out on this relationship. I feel like you really care about this person. I think that you look at this person and you think this is somebody that I could build with, you know, like this is somebody that I could see myself settling down with. This is somebody that I could see myself, you know, like building a life with. Um, and yet like the energy is that it's not, it's just not there. It's like, it's, I feel like there's something that's happening that's pulling this person away from you for whatever reason and they're going and you are left and wasn't that one of your reads like what is love um you know like don't hurt me and I feel like maybe you already knew what to expect and you were just hoping maybe you were wrong <laughs> right because sometimes we do that Sometimes we know, I can tell you how many times I've done that in my life where I'm like, I know this is not going to work, but I'm going to hold on for dear life and hope that it does. And Pisces, I kind of get the feeling that that's what this has been. It has been like, a, I know this is not going to happen, but I'm going to, I feel like every single chance I get, do my best to like nurture it, do my best to, you know, like bring this person peace, bring this person balance. I feel like there's a lot of like you wanting to give yourself, you wanting to, you know, like really, and Pisces, y'all will lose yourself in love. We have the world, the nine of cups and the three of swords. And again, it does, it feels like this end. It feels like, and I feel like you feel I think you knew it was coming and you feel disappointed. You feel like you're not enough. And here's the thing with that Pisces. Here's the thing with that is that not enough is, is, is a huge misconception um, that we feed ourselves in relationships, right? Because because there are there's alignment, right? And you might be on a different frequency. You might be suited to something that's like more where you are and you are loving someone does not align you with them. And I feel like the, the lack of alignment, whether, you know, it's a high vibe or low vibe, it doesn't matter. Like if there's a lack of alignment, there's a lack of alignment and it will end sooner or later and you can hold on tight and drag it out as long as you want to but that doesn't have, that nobody feels good. Nobody feels good about it. You see it all the time, those couples that are super clingy and they just have to be around each other and they're around each other and they don't even really like one another, right? Like they nitpick each other. They're like, they're snippy with one another. They roll their eyes at each other. You know what I mean? Like there's like that, like those energies that are like, soul sucking and and yet these people will not let go of these relationships and you're just kind of like oh my god like I can't even be friends with those people they, they like the energy is so off but I feel like the idea here is that you have experienced losing something that is off with your energy and you feel like it's because you're not enough and I want to say it's not that you're not enough it's just that you're misaligned and that's okay. And yes, it hurts, but you still have the means to move forward because 
I do feel like in this experience you have, I don't know, gained like a, Pisces are not list people, <laughs> but I feel like you have developed a list. You're starting to develop ideas about what it is that you want and why it is that you want that. Um, cause I kind of want to say for some of my Pisces that y'all were just willy nilly in some relationships and it was more about who was accessible and available at the moment than who it was that you really, you know, cause you're just along for the ride. You're just vibing in everybody's energy. I mean, like, I don't know, like I said, I have a weird relationship with Pisces and while I can appreciate the fact that they are very fluid because I think that that, you know, you're, you're able to really, you don't get stuck. You know what I mean? Like you can, you can move around things very easily. Um, you know, like, and that's a positive, but like on the other, like the other side of that coin is the fact that like a lot of times you don't develop a strong sense of identity. Um, and, and as a result, you can lose yourself in relationships that are very poorly aligned with you because your sense of alignment is very fluid. And so I want to say that you are coming into a, like a, a realization um, of what that means. You have the lovers, the eight of cups, the seven of wands, and the five of pentacles. I mean, again, it's this idea of feeling left out in the cold, feeling like you're missing out. Like, even though you had this relationship, like it just was never fulfilling enough. You never were enough right is kind of what I want to say and you could be on either side of the fence so take it how it resonates but I feel like there's just this sense of like well why am I not enough and and you know like why didn't it work and you know like how could I be more you know and it's not about being more it's just about being aware of yourself and what you align with and what you don't align with and I do feel like you're getting the opportunity to sort through this emotion um, I just kind of get the feeling that you're not sorting through it comfortably, right? I feel like there's an idea of, you know, the strength, uh, there's an idea of really just kind of like feeling like you have to push through this, um, and feeling a lot of loss and a lot of heartache and a lot of just like you're missing out. Um, it's like like you're missing out on the passion, you're missing out on the fun, you're missing out on the, you know, like the what, I don't know what it was that you had in common with this person exactly, because I get the feeling that it, it wasn't so much, like, it's not necessarily that you guys were aligned energetically. And you can have things in common with people who aren't aligned with you energetically, you know, like that's not un uncommon, <laughs> you know, like that's not a weird thing. Um, and the less aware you are of your own identity, the easier it is to lose yourself in other people's identity. It's ending, yes, but I think that, you know, Pisces bounce back quick. <laughs> on the tail of this, this transformation, you're moving quite possibly like actually moving, um, or going on a trip. Um, because it's just kind of this idea of like, like a, like a decision to move in a new direction because I don't know if it's this, of an idea of like running away. Like maybe it is that you, you're the one, like you see them moving on. And so rather than watch them, move on without you you're just gonna take the opportunity to use it as motivation to like go in a new direction i love that i love that um you know and if you're not going through an actual breakup you know like in a relationship it could just be that like you were in a in a part of your life that you were really aligned with and and you've outgrown it and you're moving beyond it and and it breaks your heart and you're sad because you love the, those people or you loved that job or you loved that whatever right um, take it how it resonates, but I feel like when you go, <laughs> what is that? Is that ludicrous? When I move, you move just like that. <laughs> I feel like that's you to the universe or the universe to you like move, bitch. 
go you'll do it you'll do great things like you don't even know what i have in store for you universe universe pulls up <laughs> just never put your faith in people because people are human the eternal child I love that because there is, there's an element of curiosity. Like, I feel like, like you flow through this sadness. Like you might feel it for a couple of weeks, a couple of months, but I don't even get the feeling that it would be that long. I feel like you're going to feel it while you're going. You're going to feel it as it ends. You're going to feel it while you're going. But once you go, like once you're like gone, once you're to that next step, you're going to be so consumed with excitement and anticipation and readiness that you will be relieved to not have ended up being stuck in, in a situation with, or whatever, with somebody who wasn't truly aligned with you. And you didn't even realize it until you felt sincere alignment. I love that for my Pisces. Okay. I hope this resonates with y'all. Thank you so much for spending some time with me. Please give me a like, share, and subscribe, and I will see y'all again soon. Bye.